Hi guys. Uh, sorry I didn't. Uh, sorry it took so long to get my next video out. Uh, it wasn't my intention, but I, I ran into some problems. However, I want to thank everybody. Made my decision so much easier to go with this spoiler. It was almost unanimous. All the comments that came in saying, "Put the spoiler on." And the more I looked at it with it on, just resting on it, the more I liked it. And so finally, the spoiler is on. It looks beautiful, but but I did make some mistakes uh, getting this spoiler on. So if you don't want to watch my goof ups and mishaps, just take it from me. The spoiler looks awesome on this car. I love how it almost blends the third brake light right in. It, it really looks really nice without messing up the lines of the body. I, I really, really like it right now. So I highly recommend it if you're thinking about adding a spoiler to your car um, and you don't care for the bigger ones, the high rises or whatever, you might want to, you know, consider this spoiler. Okay, now you can stop watching unless you want to see some goof ups. Final prep, I'm using the my Chemical Guys Wipeout Spray Cleaner. Should take off any amount of wax that's left after cleaning and uh, we'll just wipe this through. Okay, I put a piece of tape right down the center, gave it a mark as a reference, the stingray, then made sure I look balanced uh, with the amount of yellow showing on either side of the third brake light. Looks pretty darn close. Okay, now it's time to uh, prep the back of the spoiler. So the first thing that happened is I misplaced the instruction booklet that comes with the spoiler. And that's got all of the directions in here on how to install it, what to clean, how to, you know, what you're going to do. I misplaced it. I couldn't find it. So anyhow, um, I, I kind of remembered from a video that somebody else had put one of these on. I kind of got the gist of it. So when you flip the, the spoiler over, there's double-sided tape and there's also a channel that you put sealant in. And that sealant is this stuff that's supplied with the spoiler. <clears throat> it's some sort of polyurethane. I could not get this stuff out of the tube. I don't know what the heck if it was an old tube, it, it doesn't seem to be, but, and it's like a tube of toothpaste. <coughs> I don't know how you get a nice small bead coming out of this to get in that channel all the way around the spoiler. Uh, it was beyond me. Maybe it's just my age and uh, somebody else had no problem with it. I imagine most people had no problem with it, but I did. So I ended up not using this stuff. So. I had a tube of this down in the basement, a Dynaflex Ultra by DAP, got it at Home Depot. I've had it for about a year or something, and it's for siding and uh, window trims and stuff like that as a sealant. And I thought, eh, what the heck, at least this I could put on my cock gun and get a nice steady bead around that channel of the spoiler. Now, I don't know if this is detrimental to my car. Or the spoiler, maybe it's going to melt the fiberglass. I, I, I don't know, but this is the stuff that I used. Just take your time. Make sure you got it filled, but not too filled where it's going to ooze out. You think they could have come up with a uh, better way of doing this. Next mistake that I made was I 
ran my sealant bead all the way around the spoiler. I was ready to go. The mistake I made, I pulled all of the uh, protective covering off the double-sided tape at once. Don't do that. Bad choice. So I went to put the spoiler on the car and it was grabbing. Like, I, I lost that side. I had to pry it off. It already touched the lip. I got it off okay. But I was so careful in lining this up center-wise. I got the spoiler, you know, right where I wanted it. But for some reason, the tape touched and I just went with it. Um, my center line was good. I was right in the center of where I wanted to be, lined up with the, with the body edges <clears throat> on the trunk line. But then when I stepped back, I kind of had a little bit of a gap, more than I wanted to see, right here where the spoiler comes down to the third brake light. And there's, there was a little bit of a gap there. So what I wasn't happy with, when I had the spoiler on, there was a gap. There was maybe oh, an eighth of an inch of gap here where yellow showed above the third brake light. And then where the angle came in, there was even more of a gap, maybe like, oh, between an eighth and maybe three sixteenths. And the spoiler didn't seem to go down real far. I mean, there was, a, there was a gap here on the lip going across. So I thought when I put the spoiler on, it grabbed right away with the tape that's over here to the sides. And there's a piece on each side. And it may have grabbed at not the lowest point before, you know, it grabbed up on the top then. Well, you know, <clears throat> I thought, uh, I could live with that. It's not bad. Everything's perfectly centered. It looks pretty good out otherwise. <clears throat> no, it, it comes out that I, I couldn't live with it. So the next morning, I pulled this thing back off the car. I was able to do it, it almost like it pops. And it didn't do any damage uh, to the body itself or anything like that. But it took me four hours to clean out the back of that spoiler because I already wrecked the double-sided tape. I had the, the glop was all over the place. So to clean all that channel out uh, for the sealant and then try to get all that double-sided tape out that was wrecked, it was a good four hours. And then, uh, luckily, I had a roll of VHB 3M, the very high bonding tape, similar, you know, to what was in there. So, this time, I relined it, and at the same time, similar to the side skirts, the uh, rocker extensions, and that had ACS show you that there's a tab, they leave an extra leader come out with that double-sided tape so you can pull it. I ran all new tape, obviously, and then I cut back some of the double-sided so I could have a nice leader. So I had a leader come out in, in a number of spots and tape to the spoiler. I said, this is going to make it easier for me. So I did all the preparation again, all new sealing in the channel, and started from scratch. Got it in place, centered it, made sure it's exactly where I wanted it. And then I started pulling the leaders off the tape. What I was talking about with tailing out the pieces of, of uh, tape. So like this tail here is for the about the six inch piece of tape that's right about in here. This, this one on the edge here would be for this edge. Here's the uh, tail here in about the center that I'll pull for the top line. Guys, this is much better. I'm much happier with it. It's not perfect, but I'm much happier with it than I, than I was with my first attempt. Well, it came out like this, and I'm really 
happy with it. There's nice and snug. Well, there's a real, real fine line that you can see just above, um, just above the third brake light. It's not. You don't really see it unless you're right on top of it. And you're looking underneath like this. So I'm very happy with it right now. It came out great, but you know, I made mistakes. And then when I decided to come out this morning to film, it was pouring rain out. And so I usually take like a, a computer case with me if I bring my laptop and stuff just so it didn't get wet. So I pulled the zipper back to put the laptop in, and lo and behold, there was my instruction booklet. I couldn't believe it. Oh, it's, it's a good thing I'm retired and I can just kind of roll this stuff off, because I'm a lot more mellow than when I used to be young. This infuriated me. But anyhow, it seems like I didn't wreck anything, and it came out to my satisfaction this time, and it looks beautiful on the car. Sorry I kind of rambled on here, but I thought maybe a few of you would be interested in hearing how imperfect I am. Okay, guys, I'll uh, talk to you in the next one.